Hey guys, welcome to this one. So we're gonna install Laravel Homestead, which is an official prepackaged Vagrant box uh, provided by uh, Laravel, just so that you can get it running out of the box. Um, this works on Mac OS, Windows, and Linux, and it comes installed, or pre-installed, sorry, with MySQL, PHP, Redis, Node, you name it, everything you need to get Laravel up and running um, right out of the gate. Okay, so let's start by actually opening up a browser. So I'm gonna open terminal first and I'm just gonna open up edge in this case. And we'll need some prerequisites first. So we'll need like a vagrant box. So we'll go to uh, vagrantup.com and that will take you to the virtual machine like we're gonna use, it's gonna be called vagrant. And we're gonna download a copy here. So be sure to grab that. I've already downloaded this, but just wanna show you guys where this is. Uh, located and the next thing you'll need is uh, virtual box and it's virtualbox.org I believe and in our case we're gonna have to grab uh, the downloads and we're gonna use the Windows host and version 6.1.32 as of this recording so you guys be sure to download that and we'll jump to the next step so we'll close the browser and we'll close this for now as well there is one thing to note. So if you're on a Windows machine and you've never used virtualization before, you may have to go and enable that in your BIOS. So just give that a Google and turn on uh, virtualization for your system. Uh, another thing you may want to look at is um, it's called Hyper, Hyper-V. And depending on how your settings are set up on your platform, you may have to go in here also and kind of just disable this. So uh, where it was checked, to just uncheck it. And uh, there will be a restart for your machine, so I recommend restarting your machine after you've installed uh, Vagrant and VirtualBox. The next step would be to install Homestead. So we're gonna reopen Terminal one more time. So I'm in my root users directory or home directory uh, within Windows. And um, if you haven't installed Git already, uh, check out the video uh, on this channel about how to install Git for Windows. Because if you type in Git and you're not able to see these commands, that means that you haven't installed Git. So uh, do check that out, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to clone uh, a repository. And in this case, it's coming from uh, GitHub. So we're gonna grab a repo from github.com and we're going to grab the homestead.git uh, uh, repo. And we're gonna create a folder or we're gonna place the contents of this folder into a uh, directory and it's gonna be called homestead, okay? So what we're doing is we're using git to clone or pull down this repository from GitHub and we're gonna put the contents within here. And we're gonna run this command. And once that's done, we're gonna cd, change directories, and we're gonna jump right into homestead. So within this directory, there are a, uh, a bunch of files that we're going to need to help configure the virtual box and help configure homestead but uh, before we do that we're going to check out this release so we're going to say git check out and release okay so now we switched over to the new branch which is the release branch and uh, we should be good to go so we're on the origin slash release branch okay so i just ran a clear just to clear all the contents that was uh, previously shown there and i'm going to run the next command in the homestead setup, which is um, init bat. So I'm going to run this command and it's going to get all the files that we need copied over and initialize homestead. Okay, now it's time to configure the settings for the homestead installation. So in order to do that, we're going to have to um, open up a file and it's called the homestead YAML file. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use Visual Studio's code and we use the alias here and I'm going to open up the homestead.yaml file. Okay, so once this is open, um, you should see this. So this is the default setting here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna configure um, these settings uh, for Windows and for this virtual box, and I'm gonna walk you through each of the steps that I go through on the completed configured file. So just note that this is the default when you first open this up and I'll walk you through each one of these pieces and how I configured my virtual box.